Coming up next is our fifth teller, Becca. which is a little bit bigger, a little bit less small town nice. So one day, uh, two years ago, my sophomore year of high school, my friends and I were talking about that, about how I went somewhere else before, and they wanted to know what I thought was really interesting and different about this new place. So I talked about all kinds of things, like, oh, you know, this school is so big, it's, it's, you know, it's crazy that it has two floors and not just one. Um, but I was also talking about uh, how the town was. Um, it, it was really strange to me that everybody had guns and that they all went hunting all the time. My two best friends from that high school, both of them had been hunting for their whole lives. One of them got her hunting license when she was eight years old. So I thought that was absolutely crazy. And so I could talk about it, you know? And they're like, well, oh, it's fine. Everybody here is really responsible with their guns. They're all, you know, locked up. It's not like anybody's gonna do anything. Things, you know, things like that don't happen here. They might have happened in your old town, but you know, or in the big city, but it's not going to happen here. Literally the next day, in second or third hour, 8 a.m., we get an announcement over the loudspeaker. Oh, it's time for a hard lockdown, you guys. So we all go into our hard lockdown. And we're, we're still allowed to go around to our different classes, but nobody really knows what's going on. We eventually, by, you know, Snapchat and messages and, you know, talking to other people, we find out that uh, someone in a neighboring town robbed a gun store and stole some guns and called the police and said he was planning on shooting up a couple high schools, but he wouldn't say which ones. So all the town, all the towns and all the high schools in those towns in the county were all closed, like uh, were under lockdown because of this. But we spent the whole day like that. Uh, we went into lunchtime. Our cafeteria has glass doors on one side and on the other. So you know, after they say, "Oh, stay away from windows and doors." How are we supposed to eat our lunch when both sides of the cafeteria are like that? That doesn't, that doesn't really make any sense. But we still had to do it, because otherwise we wouldn't have gotten lunch. Right after lunch, my, I had Spanish. We were watching a movie, but when the lights were off, I just couldn't pay attention, because my desk was right there, right by the door. And I was kind of thinking to myself, what would I do if something happened? You know, like, I'm the first person right there. You, I can see out into the hallway through the glass in the door. What would I do? And then in the back of my head, I kind of have this thought of, you know, I told you so, you know, after yesterday. It was like, oh, nothing like that ever happens here. Yeah, it does. It does happen here. It's not just a city thing. It happens in small towns, too. 